Acker will play East Perth in the grand final in the WAFL next Sunday at Patterson Stadium after they withstood East Fremantle, a very inaccurate East Fremantle win. 10-13-73, the Sharks 7-26. 68. Joining us is uh, Jared Schofield, the coach of the Lions. Jared, firstly, congratulations, mate. Uh, that's what you work all year for, to get to a grand final, and you've, and you've done it. Yeah, cheers. Uh, thanks very much. Yeah, look, um, 12 months ago, we uh, had both grades, uh, league and reserve, sitting eight from the ladder, and we had to really reflect on where we were going as a group, and uh, the one thing that we uh, didn't deviate from was the process, and the belief that we had if we uh, if we produced our best, it would be good enough. And uh, full credit to the playing group and uh, the club in general to be able to turn it around in 12 months and yeah, get ourselves to a grand final. Jared Glenn Jackovich, welcome to the program. Congratulations hey, on making the grand final. You mentioned about development, eighth to the grand final this year. Uh, I don't want to put a damper on your preliminary final win, but you had 33 scoring shots against you. You certainly can't afford that next week. Yeah, that's right, Glenn. Um, and look, yeah, there was some ball, there was some periods of play where they got some easy ball, but. I still felt that our boys hung in there. And, you know, when you're applying pressure all over the ground, sometimes the uh, inaccuracy of opposition size is based on the pressure that you apply. And so, I like I say to my guys, you know, if you kick poorly on goal, it's poor football. So, look, at the end of the day, uh, Misha Mantle didn't kick, uh, or kick, uh, hit the scoreboard with the goals and, and we were able to get... Uh, on the other side of it and get the win, and uh, we'll take it and move forward to a grand final. Yes, Jared, and going to that grand final. You're playing the team that beat you in the second semi final. What did you learn from, I guess, the experience of that loss that you can now try and implement some strategies that that doesn't happen and you can cause an upset win in the uh, grand final? Yeah, well, look, obviously, um, you know, the, the level of uh, intensity you need to play out, I know the word intensity gets bandied around quite easily, but. Just their ability to be clean with their ball handling. Um, obviously, I did state early on the week, the cleanness of the AFL boys was definitely the difference. Um, yeah, and, and obviously, then that enables the other players within the side to grow from that. But look, I was just proud of the way the boys responded from last week. You know, we, we obviously got taught a bit of a lesson in terms of what finals footy was like. We were able to respond this week by getting a win. And the, the main thing this week is that we'll make sure our, our, our skills and our ball handling, we're as sharp as we can be and we're fresh as we can be. And we'll just try to get a, give a good account of ourselves. Uh, Wade Toomey, I think about 35 possessions today. I think he had 15 in the first quarter or so. And uh, I saw young Yaron take an absolute hanger and kick two goals in the final term. Uh, that was a, a heck of a mark, wasn't it? It was, and uh, we've been waiting for Yaz to do that all year. He's, um, he's, we got him here uh, 12 months ago, and um, his main strength was his high marking. Um, but we tried to develop his ground game. He's been kicking goals, and, uh, yeah, he really stood up. In the, crunch, in the crunch time at the end there and kick his goals, which is what um, we need him to do. And, yeah, look, as you said, Toombs was great off half-back. You know, they were, they were rolling an extra up in, uh, around the midfield and allowed um, Wade Toomey to sort of sit off across half-back and repel some ball for us and uh, definitely was probably one of his better games of the year. Jared, me and Peter are in the studio here. We were watching the, um, the, the prelim with excitement because it was a great game. But Chris DeLuca in the, set, in the third quarter went mm-hmm. down, which looked an ugly incident on the... Uh, on the TV, luckily for he got stretched off, but lucky for him, he seems to be okay. Yeah, look, we um, were up in the box. We thought, oh, it's a broken leg the way that he went in. Yeah. Then we got told it was his knee. Then we got told it was his medial. Um, but as it's turned out, it was just a real hard knock uh, to the side of the knee. And um, we wouldn't have put him back out there if it was a medial of any sort. So structurally, he's, he's good, which is a great thing. We'll get him scanned just to make sure there's no cracks or anything like that, but um, he's a tough kid, and um, I said to him four weeks ago that he was built for final footy, and he just showed that when he came on and really had an impact in that latest stage. So you game. expect him to play next week? Yeah, mate. From all, like I said, all reports from the trainers just then and the head trainers that it was just a knock to the knee. Even the physio, she said we thought it was a medial, but it's not. So we, uh, we're predicting he'll be right, as along with um, Boland, Hampton and Horsley, we should be right to go next week as well. Good stuff, Jared. And as we let you go, it's probably been uh, one of the great weekends for you. Uh, Subiaco <laughs> getting to the grand final with your coach. And, of course, Port Adelaide last night. And I believe a young fella actually ran out with the side last night. So uh, you being a premiership yeah. player with the power, it must have been a special moment last night as well. Yeah, it was. It was a great initiative by Port Adelaide to um, extend that connection to past players and allow children of the players to run out. And, uh, yeah, they gave us a call during the week. And, um, yeah, I was got a bit of a buzz seeing the young fellow run out there with Port Adelaide. And, yeah, they fantastic win and um, from, obviously come from behind. And, uh, once again, shows true character where that group's at as well. Good on you, Jared. Congratulations, mate. Jacko, one thing finally. No, no, thanks, Jared, yeah. um, as we yeah. let him go. But uh, fantastic. Good luck to Jared. But... Uh, what an interesting, um, you know, example. You get a football club reconnecting mm. with past players. A couple of years ago, uh, that football club was an absolute basket case. What they've done, they've branched out. Yeah. 